Proper testing of concrete before and after construction is an important aspect of performance-based durability design of concrete structures. In South Africa, a suite of three tests is used. These are the oxygen permeability, the water stoptivity, and the chloride conductivity tests. Each test gives us a durability index parameter. Each durability parameter is linked to a transport mechanism relevant to a particular deterioration process. The performance-based durability design approach links these durability index parameters to service life prediction models and performance specifications. This video presents a demonstration of the water subtivity test. The specimens used in these tests are circular concrete discs prepared by coring and cutting of concrete cubes in the laboratory or by taking cores from concrete elements on site. The specimens are typically concrete discs which are 70 mm in diameter and 30 mm in thickness. The disc specimens are dried in an oven at 50 degrees centigrade for at least 7 days but not more than 8 days. Sample preparation is not covered in this video and you are encouraged to read the relevant literature on this. The water subtivity test involves measuring the rate of absorption of moisture into concrete by capillary suction. For this test, you will need the following. A large flat tray, a stopwatch or a timer, a measuring scale, and a packaging tape or sellotape. The same specimens that are used in the oxygen permeability test can be used in these tests. Before the test begins, the following should be done. Firstly, prepare a saturated solution of calcium hydroxide according to the proportions given in the test manual. Secondly, use cellotape to carefully seal the curved surface of each disc. This will ensure unidirectional absorption from the bottom face. Thirdly, place 10 layers of paper towel in the large tray. And lastly, pour the calcium hydroxide solution into the tray. The paper towels should be saturated with the calcium hydroxide solution visible on the top surface. Ensure that you remove all the air bubbles trapped in the paper towels by smoothing the paper pad towards the edges. It is important that you take note of the outer face of each disc. This is the test surface which will be in direct contact with the calcium hydroxide solution. When you are ready, place the discs on the saturated paper towels on the tray and simultaneously start the stopwatch. As expected, each disc will start to absorb the calcium hydroxide solution and its mass will increase with time. At specific time intervals, each disc is removed from the tray and patted on a damp piece of absorbent paper before its mass is measured. The gain in mass of each disc is measured at 3, 5, 7, 9, 12, 16, 20 and 25 minutes. Each disc must be returned to the tray immediately after recording its mass. At the end of the test, the discs are vacuum saturated with calcium hydroxide solution to determine their individual saturated masses. The procedure for vacuum saturation is provided in the testing manual. <laughs>